Hello, welcome to this first part dedicated to the installation of Deviation TX. So, out of the box, you have the original operating system, like this, okay, so allowing to fly worker protocol. So, the goal is to use this uh, on the right side the uh, mini USB port to install uh, both the firmware of Deviation TX and the uh, software. So, um, uh, basically, the first step is to uh, install the um, uh, software and the, and the driver of the uh, STM uh, ARM core because uh, in this controller you have the M0 uh, ARM core, if I'm not wrong, with 128 kilobyte of memory and 20 uh, kilobyte of RAM. Uh, this is why uh, for the 7A you don't have now a lot of free room for the last build of the Division TX, so uh, you have to push the world out of the limits to, uh, for example, to have a new protocol, but it's like this. And uh, well, so the first step is to install uh, the uh, Flash tool, uh, so called uh, Devo Diffuse version 2.0 actually, and the uh, driver. Where you, and when you install it, you can find the driver of the ARM core. Okay, so you have to go to these web pages there. So in Workera English upload upgrades, it's a little bit hidden in their um, web pages, and then uh, download this Devo Diffuse version 2.0. So I will um, uh, download. Uh, save as and uh, I will already save it but I will uh, save again uh, yes okay and um, I will go to the uh, folder there and uh, uh, open the, uh, uh, the zip file and uh, install it locally so um, what you will find uh, you will find this folder and with the setup so you will uh, uh, continue yes okay and uh, for example before to install it um, you have to go for example to the uh, uh, operating uh, um, configuration panel okay and go to the system I'm working in Windows 8.1 okay advanced uh, parameters material and uh, uh, device and uh, well, on Windows 8.1 you have to also to display hidden uh, device and actually if you go to the uh, port okay if I for example uh, before installing the driver before uh, uh, if I'm connecting the um, uh, Devo controller okay like this with a micro USB cable like this and if I'm turning on in uh, to update the flash, uh, the firmware, you have to press enter and turn on the radio. You will see that you have an unknown STM32 device. Okay, so uh, the goal will be to update the driver of this model. So now I will turn on again the uh, the radio. So, okay, so uh, how to proceed? Uh, so. I will continue the uh, driver installation. I don't know where it was. Like this, in this one. Okay. Uh, I will continue to install everything. Okay. Oh uh, yes, the default. You have to remember. So in program file x86. Okay. Continue. Continue. Okay. Install. Blah blah blah. Oh, we don't want to launch now. But if I go to the um, where it was installed, so I will I'll go open a new one, uh, new, new Windows, and I go to the where it was installed. So uh, ex, uh, it was a work area. Well, I can't remember well where it was. So, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, where it was. Let's say by date, uh, filter by modified. Okay, it was here, and you can find here the driver system. Okay, so uh, how to proceed? 
uh, you go to this uh, uh, directory driver okay let's say we are in 61 and uh, what we will do is to uh, turn on the radio while pressing and the ext button okay so now in the device oh, not this one it should be uh, somewhere yes this one okay we go here you have to right click and uh, update the driver let's say manually on my computer we will go to the place we just saw so it's in uh, and it's in device I can remember well deviation oops sorry for there deviation upgrade tools driver x60 so it should be ok so let's say ok and next um, oh, oh. so um, uh, maybe because you have to be uh, in a special mode to update your driver so maybe I have to okay to uh, run here or maybe I have to sorry up update I will go just in the uh, uh, upper directory where it was sorry so in driver section you will find maybe probably the stuff yes sorry so uh, as you, you saw uh, you find the STM device and now as you can see it's working in the view sorry so I can uh, now turn on turn off the radio the driver uh, of the uh, USB uh, serial is uh, installed okay um, I will turn off the radio okay so the second step to do is uh, to go to uh, the deviation uh, the deviation uh, takes home it's like this and um, uh, I finally I am advising to install the light uh, last version so you go to the download section here and the last always the last update with the last fix is a Nike build so you go there and go to the last date actually it's on the 26th of July and you have to take uh, not the MU version but something like related to 7a this one blah 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 and you go to the download if I'm not wrong, here download. You save uh, in the uh, Devon 7A folder, for example. Okay, open the uh, folder. I don't know if I can do that. So, okay, so I will uh, extract. To uh, this uh, folder, the version blah, blah blah, with the name of the current build, it's opening this one. Okay, so you will find a lot of stuff, folder and so on. So the most important is this file. The .dfu is the firmware version. You have to be flashed with uh, the uh, other uh, the uh, software we install at the same time as the driver, so called dfu diffuse.exe. So you have to run it. Okay, it's working. Now I will take my radio again, press the external button while turning on the radio. Okay, now I will be able to flash the firmware. Go and browse to the dfu file. So if I remember well, I saved it in uh, my specific uh, uh, folder, so it's a little bit long, anyway. And you have to go to the uh, Nalty build, this one, okay, and select the DFU file. Open, it's done, and after you have to upgrade. They say, do you want to blah blah blah? Uh, it's plug in the view, yes. And it will start to flash, okay, the firmware. So 
the first step is to erase the current uh, firmware of Walkera. And now it will flash the uh, current one. As you can see, it's 115 kilobytes. I think it's uh, the upper limit of the uh, MCU of uh, the Devo 7A. Okay, so it's close to 115 kilos, not so much more. And after the last stage of, uh, well, the second stage of uh, upgrading, you have a checking one, okay? You have to keep it now. So it was the uh, firmware update. So now you will turn off the radio, okay? And now you will press the end button, the top right button, while turning on the radio. It will open uh, the uh, uh, USB stick, USB memory of the radio. You have a small memory. And uh, you have this message asking if you want to uh, uh, format the disk. Uh, we can say oh, yes, let's say yes. So you have a small uh, device, so you can uh, fast uh, format formatting. Okay. And it's only two megabytes, a very small, tiny USB stick. Okay, it will uh, erase everything. Okay, so now you can access to the uh, USB mo mobile. Okay, there is nothing inside. And what you will do now is to copy the other file of the uh, archive of uh, matching build except the firmware, which is already uh, in memory, and except this uh, zip file there. Okay, the debug is useless. And also the uploading message. So you can copy, drag and drop in the USB stuff. So it takes a few seconds to Update, don't touch your radio at this time, it's very important. Be sure you have enough uh, battery uh, to not have a problem, but in any case it's not so catastrophic, it's crashing during this uh, transfer. You, will, you can all the time recover your system, don't worry for that. Uh, well, okay, it's almost done. Oh, it's done. So you have to understand, with the, from the 90 build, the very important file is this file hardware.ini. You can edit it with, for example, Notepad++. Okay. You can find a lot of uh, lines, and well, when you will do the switch mode, you will have to uncomment some of the line. And to uncomment a line is to remove the uh, uh, semicomma uh, symbol. Okay, so actually since no extra uh, radio frequency chip is installed or no extra switch, you, you have to leave everything comment. Okay, so it's good. I can close this one. And now I can turn off the radio. Okay, unplug the uh, mini USB plug. And now I can turn off the radio. It will be on deviation tape. Okay, it's done, everything, and I have the, uh, the software with the uh, Deviation TX working. Uh, but since I didn't install any um, uh, other extra chip, I have the minimal versions, so I can only uh, uh, see the uh, Devo uh, protocol or uh, the uh, DMSM2 or DSMX. So you can see with this up and down button, I can see some work area protocol, DSM2, DSMX, but all over, well, you are also the G6 Pro. But each time you see a star from the name of a protocol, it means that either the associated RF chip is not installed or there is a problem with the hardware that in, uh, in configuration. So, as you can see, most of the protocol is not yet available since I didn't install yet the associated radio frequency chip. So it was the uh, first part of uh, my tutorial video dedicated to the Devo 7A, how to install uh, Devation TX. Okay, so um, I hope it will uh, add full. Thank you for uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.